So hey guys welcome back once again and in this video actually I'm gonna show you how to install Stable Diffusion 1.5 locally on your PC. In order to install Stable Diffusion 1.5 you need to have automatic 1111 already installed in your PC. So I have already made a video on how to install Stable Diffusion automatic 1111 on your PC. So do check my video the link will be already in the description below. So after installing automatic 1111 you just need to download one of the ckpt file from this link the link will be already in the description you just need to download this file v1.5 pruned ema only ckpt so after downloading this file just open the location where you have downloaded it copy the file and just paste it where you have already installed automatic 111 already in your pc paste it in the models and go into stable diffusion and just paste it over here so after pasting it, rename it to model. So after renaming it, just come back. Open this, right click on this web user and show more option, edit it. And you just need to type over here, git, git, pull. What this will do is always load an updated file and yeah that's it and pause okay save this file close it and just run it okay git pull okay so it's installed and you just need to copy this link control copy paste it in your browser and just open it so this is installed actually i've already installed 1.4.ckpt so let's see okay so here is the model of 1.5 okay so we have already renamed it at model.ckpt so this is the file if you don't see any file over here just refresh it over here and click here. so this is let's let it load the checkpoint and let's see so this is the stable diffusion 1.5 uh, ckpt dot ckpt and how to install it and let's see what images does it generates so here it is prompt okay so i'm giving guns and red roses let's see if let's keep the sampling rate of this these are the sampling rates okay uh, there are many sampling rate i will make a video for everyone and we will see what how does this sampling rate works so each of them i will make a separate video for it and the next thing is width of your image width and height of the image resolution and here it is restore faces if you have faces in it and high res i think so uh, i will check on this as well batch count how much image do you want okay so let's create five images of it and batch size let's give cfg scale to seven only and let's see first of all let's see settings over here uh, i've already load stable diffusion checkpoint over here uh, 1.5 checkpoint let's see settings and let's see what we can say this is all the setting i need to go through the setting as well i will definitely see the setting code former or i've already installed gfp can already so might well look into it as well first of all right now i'm not searching any face so just guns and guns and red roses let's see how what it generates so first i think so let's see so it's generating right now you can see over here command on command prompt let's see how much time does it take recording for the first time images right five images okay batch count five images total of five images. let's see it's loading i think so it will take uh, take some time let's see okay and let let's see over here it's generating over here come on your directory and outputs text to image oh guns and red roses okay so this one gun and red roses over here nice one guns and red roses nice one 
I don't know. It's not a perfect thing. I don't see a perfect gun over here. It's not a perfect gun. But yeah, there is a gun and a red roses. So we will check on this. Art. What the hell is this image? <laughs> the guns are not perfect. So we will check. <laughs> so these are the images that we got. Five images. Oh, it's not five. One, two, three, four, five, six total. Oh, five images. Sorry. Let's check skulls and red roses. Skulls with red roses. Skull with red roses. And let's see. Let's generate it. Let's see. Using EUL Euler A. All are concentrated. Four images direct. Okay. Nice one. <laughs> so these are the images that are generated i think so this image is a good so this is how you install stable diffusion 1.5 on your pc so that's it for today and we will be back with more news and information about stable diffusion and artificial intelligence tomorrow so stay tuned and i hope you guys like it and see you soon guys bye guys love you all guys bye guys